in today's class we will discuss about in thermodynamics what is pressure and uh, what is atmospheric pressure what is a gauge pressure and uh, what is absolute pressure at the end what is the zero absolute pressure we will study what is ntp condition and what is htp condition let us take one by one so here what is the pressure we are taking the symbol capital p for this it is the normal force acting on a given area per unit area okay normal force means the force is making 90 degrees with the given area okay it is called normal force it is the ratio of normal force to the given area force acting on a given area f by a okay it is a pressure formula and what are the units for force we are taking newtons for area we are taking meter square sometimes in the problem they are giving the value pressure value in terms of bar okay so one bar is equal to 10 power 5 newton per meter square just remember this relation so that we can substitute in a two, for two bar three bar we can write one bar is equal to this value two bars given means 2 into 10 power 5 newton per meter square okay and then now how to find this pressure okay in a given area or in a given vehicle in a given um, boiler or uh, turbine like that we are using different instruments for finding the pressure okay here some manometers we are using some mechanical gauges we are using but in thermodynamics we don't have all the working process of this uh, manometers and mechanical gauges in uh, fluid mechanics and uh, instrumentation and control system we have complete uh, process of finding the pressure by using these manometers and pressure mechanical gauges if you want to check the process i will give the link in description box okay we already we did all these videos for finding the pressure so just i will explain here for finding pressure at one point we are using the piezometers and simple manometers and uh, micro manometers also we are using vertical type inclined type micro manometers if you want to find pressure difference between two points like uh, we, we can take any two points input and output okay if you want to find the pressure between two points we are using differential manometers sometimes for getting a correct value inverted differential manometers and uh, in uh, vehicles we are using mechanical gauges in two wheelers four wheelers automobile vehicles and in industries we are using bodan tube pressure gauge bellow gauges ionization gauges elastic diaphragm gauges like uh, pirani gauges mcleod vacuum gauge like that we are using all these gauges please check in description box of the working process of these gauges okay. but in thermodynamics we are not studying all these gauges okay and then what is the atmospheric pressure Atmospheric pressure means this pressure will occur because of atmosphere. Okay, on the earth surface, each and every object is subjected to pressure. Okay, T let us take this is one object I am taking. So this is subjected to some pressure because of the air surrounding on the earth surface. On the earth surface, air will be there. Okay, this is the layer of the air. Wherever you are keeping the object, it is subjected to pressure of the air okay so this pressure is called atmospheric pressure it is constant wherever we are taking the object whatever objects we are taking it is a constant so that is called atmospheric pressure pressure because of atmospheric air okay we are using the symbol patm okay so this pressure is we have already one constant value 760 mm of hg okay by using the mercury column they are finding the height of the mercury is 760 mm Okay. or otherwise if you want to take in terms of bar this value is 1.01325 bar okay so just now i told instead of bar we can take one bar is equal to 10 power 5 newton per meter square here i have written instead of bar 10 power 5 newton per meter square okay now here they remember this value in terms of newton per meter square take the next one p gauge pressure that is p gauge here i am writing the symbol for gauge pressure and p absolute pressure p absolute or we can call it as p total also okay so sometimes we are getting confused which one we have to take okay for removing that confusion i will take one example here okay some liquid in a container okay so i am taking some liquid whatever liquid pressure is coming okay let us take we are connecting one gauge to it okay the whatever value gauge is given it is p gauge 
okay it is called peak gauge pressure okay just now i told what are the gauges we can use means we can use this type of gauges mechanical gauges or we can use manometers also okay so whatever values are coming it is called peak gauge pressure okay and now here what is p absolute pressure in it p absolute pressure means first let us take here air is there so this liquid surface or liquid is enter liquid is subjected to p atmospheric okay because it is surrounding with air so this is this liquid is subjected to two pressures one is liquid pressure p gauge pressure and as well as p atmospheric pressure so what is the total pressure so it is called p total or p absolute pressure i am writing p absolute is equal to p atmospheric plus p gauge got it here p absolute or p total means p atmospheric plus p gauge so this liquid is subjected to total pressure this pressure it is called p absolute pressure okay so this is the main uh, difference between p gauge pressure and p absolute pressure here i am marking p gauge pressure and absolute pressure in a graph let us do first do one reference line in graph also we are doing uh, zero x axis line zero y axis line like that so here i took one line okay reference line it is called absolute zero pressure okay whatever pressure on this line it is the zero pressure okay below this zero pressure no substance is available whatever substance we are taking okay its pressure is above this absolute zero pressure or it is a absolute perfect zero okay below than this no uh, pressure will ab available okay that is no substance is available below this pressure okay here i am taking it is a zero pressure line or we can call it as absolute zero pressure after that here we know atmospheric pressure is 760 mm or 1.01325 bar means it has some value okay fixed value this is 760 mm so i am taking this line here this gap is 760 mm okay and then uh, i am marking p atmosphere here i am taking two points some a point here and then b point here one is above the atmospheric pressure and b point is below the atmospheric pressure two pressures two points i am taking pressure at a is i am taking pa pressure at b is i am taking pb okay now total pressure means from this line what is the total pressure from this line okay it is p atmospheric as we know and this distance if we are adding these two distance we will get total pa okay total pressure means just now i told p absolute or p total now i am writing p absolute pressure at which point it is a point p absolute at a is equal to what is this pressure p atmospheric plus this pressure we are calling gauge pressure okay p gauge p atmospheric plus p gauge pressure here i am writing p atmospheric okay so absolute pressure at a is equal to this value plus this value okay so here this is the total pressure or absolute pressure at a okay now i am taking b point here which is less than atmospheric pressure for finding this pressure okay from the reference line we are taking both a and b okay it is called total pressure p total or p absolute at which point it is b point is equal to so this value p atmospheric minus of this value okay so here we can write it is also gauge pressure but it is less than atmospheric pressure that's why we are calling it is vacuum pressure okay so gauges are giving this value we can call it as gauge pressure also but we are considering whatever value above the atmospheric we are using the symbol p gauge okay whatever value below the atmospheric we are calling p vacuum okay p vacuum also we are using for uh, we are finding by using the gauges only okay how to find pb value p absolute pressure 
P atmospheric minus P vacuum. Okay, so here I am writing P atmospheric minus P vacuum pressure. Okay, this is the formula. Always remember P vacuum pressure means it is less than the atmospheric pressure. P gauge pressure means which is above the atmospheric pressure. Okay, these two formulas we can use for finding the pressure at A point, pressure at B point. Okay, this is the main uh, concept in this graph. Okay. After this absolute pressure, in the last class also we took absolute temperature video. So I will give in the description box what is temperature, what is absolute temperature. Please check in the description box. Now take the next one. Normal temperature and pressure that is NTP and standard temperature and pressure that is HTP. Sometimes in thermodynamics, in problems they are giving NTP condition. NTP condition means they are studying at the normal temperature and pressure. Okay. So what is the normal temperature? It is 0 degree C we are considering. What is the pressure means? It is the 760 mm of Hg that is atmospheric pressure. Okay, if you are taking this is in Kelvin, what is the relation between degree C and Kelvin? Kelvin is equal to degree C plus 273. Here it is 0 degrees, 0 plus 273. So we will get 273K. Okay, degree K. So it is 0 degree C or 273K. Okay, so these two we have to consider in normal temperature and pressure. Okay, it is a shortcut form NTP conditions. So remember these two values. Instead of NTP, sometimes they are asking HTP conditions also. HTP means standard temperature and pressure. What are the values of temperature and pressure? Temperature is 15 degree C. Pressure is same value that is NTP condition. Atmospheric pressure it is 760 mm of Hg. Here how to find degree Kelvin? Degree Kelvin formula is degree C plus 273. So 15 degrees we are considering plus 273. We will get... 8 288 degree kelvin okay so here we can write 288 kelvin or degree kelvin also we can write okay. so http conditions temperature is 15 degree c pressure is 760 mm pressure value in both ntp and http is common okay that is atmospheric pressure only temperature is difference here at ntp condition it is 0 at http condition it is 15 so remember these two temperatures for doing the problems.